Hey everybody, I'm Beerman the Beerman, and welcome back to This is the Police. Last time, there was quite a bit of story. Um, some pretty racy stuff, actually. If you missed it, go back and check it out. Um, but now we're gonna move on to day 71. Here we go. End the day. Alright, um, I think we're good on detectives. Why is he so fucking tired all the time? What's this guy's deal? He's always so tired. I haven't been able to use him for anything yet. Um, they're all tired. That's fine. Shift day is looking all right. Shift day is looking pretty good. We got these two guys. All right. Okay. Hopefully no one like calls in sick tomorrow or whatever. Should we get little on the case? I don't know. Here, we're going to, we're going to go for it. Yeah. Understood. Thank you very much, Walt. Sorry again for waking you up. Walt Disney? With my regards to Gene. Yeah. Okay. Got, who, got who are they? <laughs> hey, hey, Martin, wait a minute. Martin, you still hang around with uh, Bo Berenger? Who of the course. fuck is that? In fact, he's my stepfather. Great. Oh my god. Think he has a couple of men available today, right now, in fact? There's something important I need taken care of. Oh. Um, sure. Something you need help moving? Uh, not exactly. Here's the address. I need this house watched. All day and all night until I say stop. If anyone suspicious goes poking around, tie him up and bring him here. I'll pay double the usual rate. Or triple. Whatever he needs. Jeez, and Jack, no calm down. Don't... This, right? <laughs> whatever and he needs. You don't have a lot of money, my friend. Rules, not houses. What's the difference? Well, these guys probably wouldn't care either way. Okay, Jack, no problem. I'll make the call. As for your retirement, yeah. I've been... Uh, let's focus call. on today, Martin. Yeah, Martin. Keep that house secure, all right? Okay, Go do it. Okay, okay. I have a phone in the car. I'll call Bo right away. Call I him. Appreciate it, Martin. Hurry up. Believe me, I do. Whose house are we watching? Oh, probably what's her name's. Uh, hey, what the Jack. hell? I can't remember yeah. her name. Anything else I need to know about this? No. Uh, Nothing else no. at all. Better you don't. Yeah, get out of here. Go do what I said. Um, the, the prosecutor lady, it's her. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, her. I'm an addict. Lana. Please. What? <laughs> Listen to me, Lana. I really am an addict. For 20 years now, give or take. I've been lying to myself that I'm in control of the situation, and sometimes it really seems like I am, but sometimes in the more desperate moments, I become completely dependent on the pills. And it's just dumb luck that I haven't killed myself. Or someone else. More than a few times, I've come pretty close. I've been stoned while I'm driving. Was even stoned once during a firefight. I've been on drugs while I made decisions where dozens of lives were on the line. When I'm overworked, I need the pills. That's my problem. It's my weakness. But I always knew that if I admit my weakness, that if I start talking about the problem publicly... If I go to rehab, then I'm already as good as retired. They'll take advantage of the scandal and get rid of me forever. It doesn't matter all the good work I'm trying to do at the police department. They'll just bury me. So I'm keeping my problem a secret, at least until I can retire. I have to. I know it's... Yeah, of course you have to. <laughs> God, Jack is so gloriously fat. You realize, Jack? This is the first time you ever called me. What? You called me this time. I thought you were just waiting for me to stop bugging you, but now you called me and you opened up even though you didn't have to. <laughs> Maybe you're stoned? What? I... Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm not stoned. Maybe right not. <laughs> well, Jack, I guess you need me as much as I need you. I need you more than you need me. Oh. Now I know you're stoned. Lana, I'm... You were... I heard everything you said, Jack. I understood everything just fine. You don't need to say anything else. Right, exactly. Say no more. So, good night? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> no, not even good night. Wow. Oh, Jack's quite the player, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, police station desk sergeant, the dentist spreading panic among citizens. Yeah, okay. Police overwhelmed by avalanche of false dentist leads. 
I wouldn't say I was overwhelmed. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't go after any of those. Uh, Freeburg residents jumping at shadows. Yeah, they sure are. Hey, oh, look at that. Look, we got two city hall thumbs up. Oh, maybe we'll get those things we wanted. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. Uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah, thanks. We all know. All right, Jack. Let's have another great day. Oh, good. Look, nobody did anything. Everyone's happy. No one, no one, like, their, their, their dog didn't, like, fall into... Like a, a tree shredder or some weird shit that these people always get into. No one's drunk. Everyone's here. Oh, fan. freaking tastic. You know what? I think we're going to promote Beasley. He's been around for a very long time. And plus, look at the guy. He looks fantastic, doesn't he? I mean, just look at him. Don't you just want to be pals <laughs> with this guy? <laughs> All right, here we go, Beasley. You did it. You worked your butt off, and you fucking did it. Congratulations. All right. Let's play something upbeat in honor of Beasley's promotion. Um, how about Fire in the Brain? That sounds pretty good. Fire in the Brain uh, for Beasley. Beasley the Beast. That sounds pretty good, right? Oh, shit. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, come on. I don't have enough detectives. <laughs> Jeez. 33-year-old Judith Pierce, former secretary of the mayor, oh my god, was found brutally murdered in the motel room. Holy crap. Are they all related to the mayor? They are, aren't they? A stripper from the Club Twister was brutally murdered in her home. Alright, well, this one came first. Let's get these two guys on the case. And we have to send SWAT. God, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. How do I... <laughs> Request. Yes! Uh, officer, okay? What? Oh, I have to do it now? All right, fine. Um, Melissa Spain. That's a pretty cool name. I like that. Um, let's see. Kathy Maza. You know what? This is another Japanese girl. Oh, my God. What happened to her? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Debra, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Kathy Maza, that she looks like another, um, with her last name as well, looks like another Japanese woman. So she's probably an alcoholic, uh, based on what this game always does to us. So we're not gonna hire her. Debra, you look like some kind of, you look like Kermit the Frog. Um, got it on with a dumpster and. I just, I, I just, I don't even want to go on about it. <laughs> um, Melissa, you're hired. But what, uh, what is this? This is the dream team right here. Should we, you know what? We have two alcoholics here. Let's move you to shift A. And we're going to hire you for shift B. How about that? I think that's a good move. All right. Labor market, we hired her. Okay, great. Uh, detective, fantastic. We got another detective. Let's hire one right now. Oh, they all suck. Oh, man, the ones before were great. And these all suck. And the other guy on... on, Like, he sucks, too. Look how bad he is. He's so bad. Dang it. Um. Also... Is there a thing we have to do with holding evidence, City Hall? Change detectives, that's right. Uh, fail to detect- okay, you have seven days to fully update your detective roster. You know what, I don't- but I don't think I'm gonna- I might not do that. I don't want to get rid of Beasley. Everyone else is so bad. <laughs> we need good detectives. So, we are gonna go ahead and hire you. Um, Cecilia. Yeah. All right, Cecilia, you got the job. Shift B, right? Yeah, great. All right. How about this? Oh, we got this too. Now you can improve your SWAT team. How do I do that? Endurance or power? Increase efficiency. We'll work two times a day. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, great. Okay, can we do this now? That, that, and SWAT. Proceed. And we still have SWAT, I think. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you guys, <laughs> that's so good. 
I wish I did that a long time ago. I'll bet you guys were yelling at me the whole time. Attempted murder. A woman claims that uh, she was just in the park and the dentist was chasing her. I even heard the sound of the drill and his eyes flashed with devilish fire. Oh, man. This is a tricky one. Someone was chasing her. Perhaps. All right. All right. We're going to chance it. I'm curious. It says so. It could have been so. Someone might have actually been chasing her. Um, you know, probably not the dentist, but oh man, I hope the dentist doesn't actually. Oh look, oh look, we already uh have a thing. Oh shit! All I did was send the frames to the feds. Why didn't I work on the case? Uh, what's this? Homicide, a sleazy looking man burst into the temple shouting, Come get it, you peace loving bald bastards, and wounded two attendants. An eyewitness contacted the police and got out of there as fast as he could. He says someone else had already begun returning fire. Oh my god. Really? And you don't want to send SWAT? Well, this sounds pretty serious. Let's send our very own superhero. And let's send. Uh. Beard Cell. And Smith. Alright? How about that? You guys can handle it, I think. Okay, come on. Please, 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 please. False alarm! Oh, okay. A jogger wearing reflective glasses was in the park at the time. And there were drilling sounds coming from a nearby construction site. Alright, fine. Can I do this? Oh, I can. Because the other one's done. Oh, that's weird. Alright. Fucking go do it. <laughs> Great. Suspicious individual. Life wire store. A saleswoman noticed a strange man through the window carrying a drill. He looks just like that guy, the dentist from the news, at least from the back, and he's singing from wicked some wicked song. I'm afraid to go near him. Yeah, that's a false alarm. Watch it's not. <laughs> Watch it's a real thing. That was nothing, right? Yeah. That's the one I just clicked on. Alright. What was oh yeah, this was possibly an actual crime. Come on. What happened? Okay. Oh, no. In the center of the temple are two wounded monks, and there's a wounded old man moaning in the corner. He's dropped his gun. Near the monks, uh, there's a tra trail of blood stains leading out uh, to the left. Uh, okay, call for an ambulance. Check the first door on the left. Check the first door on the right. Check the left. Inside the room is a small, scruffy-looking man muttering something about God. That's that. Yeah, that's the guy who... Uh, Came in yelling. He is wounded, and next to him is a spent gun. Search the other rooms in the temple. Slowly step forward and move the gun away from the criminal. Order him to move the gun to the side. Um. Um. Uh, it's spent. Slowly step forward and move. It. Let's try it. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Great. Look at Prado. Oh my good lord. Jeez, he is the definition of just amazing. I was going to say the man, but like some people consider the man to be a different thing. Okay, he's the definition of badass. That's what he is. Okay, I've got three new frames. Give the frames to the feds. Why is that all we're doing? Here you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Sand. Oh, there's some rowdy drunken brats at our, our restaurant. Let the police come teach them some manners. You know what? That's fine. Vermilion, get fucking get over there. Go handle that shit. We can do that. It was just an ordinary student, yeah. <laughs> Metallica. He was singing some Metallica and freaked her out. Alright, Vermilion, don't fuck it up, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, what's next? Anything else? There must be something. Should we get some music? Yeah, let's get some fucking music. Oh shit. <laughs> Here, we're going to play this one. All right, get in there. Come on, hurry up. Go, go, go. Play. All right, what's this? Drug sales at the dump. Uh, the guard at the city dump has eyes on a meeting between two gangs, apparently both from Eastern Europe. The leader of one of the gangs is trying, trying out a pack of white powder. Uh, the guard can't see how many people are there, but he counted four cars. That sounds pretty serious. Should we send everybody? Let's fucking send everybody. I'll bet this is a real thing. 
We don't have SWAT, so let's send everybody. Was the paddy wagon an option? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't quite look for that. Oh well. Oh, maybe we should have just sent three people so Vermillion and someone else can go do something. Oh well. Too late now. <laughs> Hope nothing else happens. Alright. What happened? What's it gonna be? Oh shit. The gangs have already started shooting at each other and haven't yet noticed the police presence. Some are behaving like madmen and firing in all directions. Get on the loudspeaker and order them to cease fire. Shoot the guy with the automatic who is popping off towards the police position. Fire a couple warning shots in the air. Get on the loudspeaker. A wounded bandit is uh, running towards the police position. With one hand, he's gripping his wounded leg. With the other hand, uh, he's holding up a gun, which he points at everyone one by one. The guy is obviously in a panic. His, <clears throat> his pupils dilated, and he's shouting something in an incomprehensible language. Hold the man at gunpoint until the ambulance arrives. Taser him. <laughs> Shoot the man. Yeah, taser him. That always works. Taser. <laughs> yeah, it always works every time, no matter the situation. Just taser him. Great, we did it. Good work, team. Man, we should just give everyone... They don't even need guns. <laughs> just give everyone a taser. We could probably save money that way. An alarm went off in a warehouse that doesn't see much use. Alright, fine. I'll bet it's like an animal or something. Should we even bother sending someone to check that out? I don't think so. I'll bet it's just an animal. Uh, thanks to a tip from an informant, we've learned that a large shipment of imported alcohol, which was stolen yesterday from the port, is currently located at an abandoned house in the suburbs where it's about to be split up and transferred to smaller sales points. There are at least five armed guards at the house. Holy shit. Why? Why are there so many armed guards? Alright. Should we just send everybody? What do you think? At least five armed guards. Yeah, that sounds pretty serious. Let's send everybody. Everybody get in there. Go handle that. And hurry up, because I... I didn't keep anybody in case something else happens. So hurry up, please. I'm hoping this is a false alarm. I bet it is. It sounds like it. I sure hope so, anyways. Alright. What is it? It's a false alarm. The place is abandoned. Apparently there was a short in the alarm's electrical wiring. Yeah, fine. Good. What's this? How'd it go? Oh, you know what? I think we're okay. We got Prado there. Yeah, refuse. Can we send? No. All right. I think we'll be okay. Okay, no one's dead. Caught. Unharmed. Unharmed. Did we get any stuff? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Great. We found alcohol. All right, let's bring it to the police station. Still, I don't know if if that is brought back as evidence or if we share it like amongst our police or what. I don't know. All right, day 71, pretty good. Let's move on to uh, the next day. Day 72, here we go. All right, um, okay, yeah, they're done. Shift B is gonna have these two. Oh, okay, at least she's not tired like this asshole. I don't know what his deal is. He's, he hasn't worked a day. <laughs> he's just always tired. Um, and we have, she's gonna move over to A. Should we put someone, should we move someone over just in case? Yeah, just in case one of these idiots come to work drunk. Let's, uh, should we? I don't know, actually. I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Smith, work tomorrow. Thanks for the help. All right. Former uh, Secretary of Mayor Rogers found brutally murdered. Yeah, 33-year-old Judith, Judith Pierce. I cannot talk today. 33-year-old Judith, Judith Pierce becomes third victim of the dentist. I don't know why I can't speak. Uh, the dentist kills former Secretary of Mayor Rogers. How we doing? Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Jeez, everyone loves us! One man's trash is another man's treasure, yeah! Go to work! Go to work, Jack! Look at you, you're on cloud nine right now, aren't you? Oh, today is a great day, it's the day of my daughter's wedding! No way, can I miss the ceremony? Can I take some time off? No! <laughs> Sorry, I need you! Spain. God, I just hired these two and they're already pissing me off. 
Uh, they say it's going to rain today and I have a very weak immune system. I'm afraid I might get sick. Can I go home? No! I accidentally broke my bathroom mirror while I was getting ready for work. My dad always said that seven years are bad luck, but I know it's a silly superstition. It'll probably only last seven hours, but it might be a good idea for me to take the day off. What do you think? No! I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Ah, <sighs> Yes. I don't, like... <laughs> She'll fail if she's too tired. Oh my god. But I didn't let her go to her daughter's wedding. <laughs> it's so bad. Here we go. Uh, let's put this... I like this one. This uh, fire in the brain. Let's do that. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Play. We gotta get on to the next day. Alright. Yeah. This is so upbeat. I love it. Okay. Can we... Oops. Oh wait. No. That's not what I wanted. Affairs? City Hall. Oh, three days. Okay, fine. No problem. Come on. Where are the crimes? Legal business activities. Electronic shop owner Henry Harker reported that two young men were collecting uh, computers in the garage and selling them without a registered sales license. This upstart with his fat friend... Upstart, yeah, with his fat friend are trying to destroy my business. They're making a cheap counterfeit... They're making a cheap counterfeits <laughs> okay and misleading potential customers these fraudsters don't have any respect for the law yeah they sound like buttholes um let's keep it low-key let's send you know what let's send in little and these two jokers how about that all right don't fail me now little i brought you in for the day i didn't let you go home because you were worried about bad luck get in there and don't die, okay? Just don't die with all your bad luck. You guys believe in bad luck? Let me know in the comments what you think. Not just bad luck, just luck in general. You believe in luck? Sorterly conduct. A woman entered City Hall carrying a, a basin, proceeded to the restroom to fill it with hot water, and took it to the front desk, where she proceeded to wash her hair. That's weird. The guard on duty called the police. Apparently the woman is protesting the fact that her he her home has been without hot water for two months and the city has failed in his promise to fix the problem. Alright. That's weird. <laughs> let's, uh, let's send in Smith. Was she the one that had the seven years bad luck? I don't know. Anyways, Smith, get in there. Go take, go take care of that. In the garage, they're doing some work that's making a lot of noise. No one answers the door. Turn on the siren and loudspeaker and demand they open the garage doors. Break the door down. Forcefully knock on the door. Yeah, knock on the door. There's a few students sitting in a jumble of computer circuits, circuit boards, soldering something. Let's go down to the police station and discuss what you're doing here. You guys are getting shut down permanently. What's going on here? Um... Let's go down to the police. Just knowing this game, we should do this. Let's go to the police station and discuss what you're doing. All right, great. I feel like if we did the what's going on here, they would have like told us a story and then we would have failed. <laughs> Just knowing this game. Some bullshit thing like that would have happened. Man, this music's great. I love it. So good. Oh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? You guys believe in luck? I kind of do, just because mine seems to be so bad. <laughs> like, like when I'm recording, shit always happens and whatnot. Okay, good. That was that went well. Good job. Good job, Smith. Man, I'm so hungry. I could really go for a burger right now. A big juicy bacon cheeseburger. Mmm. You know what they don't really have in Japan? Big juicy bacon cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> I miss those. I can make them myself. I actually make a... I've, I've said this a million times. I make a pretty mean burger, but, um... I just can't get all the right ingredients here, you know? Especially the bacon. You, you just can't get bacon here. They have bacon, but it's not bacon. It's not... What's the word? Uh... Crap. I read about it the other day. The correct way to make bacon. Tell me that in the comments. The way they make, like, American bacon anyways. I say correct, but I should say American bacon. Was it brine? They brine it? I don't fucking remember. Anyways, um... A passerby noticed a suspicious worker carrying a drill dangerously close to the ro roadway. He pulled his helmet down over his eyes, and I never forget a face. I knew right away I recognized him. It's the dentist. 
and he looks like he's about to jump out on the road and start drilling people right in their cars. Yeah, that's not going to happen. It could be someone else, though. A passerby, it could be like a, a copycat, you know? He pulled his, he kept, wait, carrying a drill dangerously close to the roadway. He's just, he's just like a worker. He's just doing some work, right? Drug sales. Movie house cashier E. Moody noticed a suspicious van, which seems to be some kind of shop. He's afraid that drug traffickers have moved in next door. Yeah, that could be. You know what? Let's send in... Let's get Kochi on the case. And, uh... These guys. <laughs> we gotta level them up. So we're gonna send them in. And get them... Get their butts in gear. Get them to work. I sure hope, I'm really worried about this. I sure hope it's a false alarm. It sounds like it. It sounds like it could be. Please, man, with pulsates like this, I get a little bit worried. All right, how about this, assault. A trucker grew furious when he discovered a dead cockroach in his sandwich, oh my God. He grabbed the waitress by her hair and beat her head on the table. Holy shit, dude, calm down. Uh, the Roadhouse's hostess called the police. Hurry. Soon he'll be coming for me. Okay. Well, let's send these three. That's what we thats what we left them open, open for. Something like this. The van is parked alone near the cinema. It looks empty. Walk up and quietly knock on the door. Watch. Walk up and pound loudly on the door. Pound loudly. That sounds like, like something police would do. <laughs> let's make noise. Someone started moving inside the van. Don't move! Break the driver's side window, run to the driver's door, pull a gun, and order them to exit the vehicle immediately. Don't move! Alright. It worked. <laughs> Knocking loudly and yelling loudly worked. Great. We did it. False alarm? False alarm. The worker was repairing the road. He wasn't threatening anyone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jeez, this town is going insane. They need to calm down. Did they even see, was there even a sketch? I didn't, I thought I said that we didn't know what he looked like or whatever. Or no, we said we weren't gonna disclose that, yeah. Harassment, a woman uh, is on the phone claiming that the person sitting at the next table is the terrible maniac from the TV. The man was starting, sorry, staring at his feet and carrying a work bag on his shoulder, which showed the contours of a drill. Yeah, that's another false alarm. Uh, who knows? It could be the guy. Watch, it's the guy. Man, that'll make me so mad if they're like, Oh, yeah, you let the dentist get away. Good, we did whatever that was. I already forgot. <laughs> oh, what's this? A suspicious individual. A strange taxi driver brought me home one night, then stayed parked outside my house looking up at my windows. I'm afraid it's that maniac who looks, uh, who likes to come drill you at night. Please come quickly. Well, is he there now? Brought me home one night, then stayed parked outside my house. What, he's still there? He probably lives across the street or something. We're not going to do it. <laughs> Hopefully it's fine. <clears throat> Man, I hope it's not a real crime. I'm so worried. Okay, harassment. All right, false alarm. The man was coming home from his work at a factory. The bag he's carrying holds only a change of clothes and a lunchbox. Yeah, that's what I thought. Should we send... A cup. You know what? Let's send just in case, because the day is probably almost over. Let's send Little and Spain. How about that? Just in case this is a real thing. I don't think it is though. But if the taxi is still outside, you know that gives reason to be worried. Oh, okay, great. We could have sent the whole team, <laughs> but oh well. Whatever. We got to play it safe. We gotta stay on City Hall's good side too, okay. Yeah, false alarm. Taxi driver was taking his break and enjoying a sandwich he'd brought from home. Man, that sounds so good. A sandwich? We don't have sandwiches in Japan. I want one so bad there was no drill in his car. All right, great. There you go, day 72. Also pretty successful. All right, things are starting to look up. Well, um, join us uh, next time and we'll uh, go on to day 73. So. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you had some fun. If you did, please leave a like, and we'll see you next time. Bye!